Why, hello guys, and welcome to episode two of Adeline and Gilbert. Well, today might be a very big day because, well, Adeline is getting closer and closer to having her baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, there's a burglar. Where is he? All right. Well, Adeline's pregnant, so you gotta fight. It's a lady burglar. Doesn't matter. Fight. Going to another lot? Fight! <laughs> Don't be happy about it. Yes, we can't even have Adeline fight if we want to. Oh no, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Adeline, how about you go back to bed? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Is she leaving? And she's driving away. We don't even have to... We don't even have to call the cops. She's unlucky? Well, damn right she's unlucky. Hopeless romantic. And a schmoozer. Well, none of that helped her. Adeline. Burglar's gone. Burglar's gone, everybody. Everybody relax. Well, that was an interesting beginning to our day. Man, we didn't even have to call the cops. Gilbert just uh, took care of uh, took care of that robber on his own. Well, he does not work until um, three in the uh, afternoon. So the two of them are going to sleep as long as they can, because, well, we want we want them to be in as good of condition as they can be. I heard a sound, got suspicious, but no. Burglar is not back. We'd be getting <laughs> noticed. And, yes, I do have your baby names that you suggested. They're here on that piece of paper that I just ruffled. So, I'm going to be picking one of them depending on whether the boy or, or whether it's a boy or a girl. Okay. But, Gilbert... You're gonna wake up at 10, right? It's after 10, why aren't you awake? Let's see. Well, let's see what we have here. Grape and apple pancakes. Well, you have the grape. I think they're still good, right? I think they're both still good. So come forth and serve some food, or eat some food, rather. And Adeline will just keep sleeping. And your condition, everything is great, man. Everything is great. Adeline is awake. So you come in here and eat the apple pancakes, and let's hope that everything is still is still healthy. I mean, these pancakes don't look great, but they turned out okay. Man, Adeline's getting quite uh, quite plump around the belly here but such things are to be expected given her um, current condition oh man well they're enjoying their pleasant breakfast Gilbert how about you go take care of that and you're going to work in a bit but you know what why don't you work out? We need to keep keep that going. All right, Adeline, how about you clean up your stuff? And then once you're done, take care of that. I guess it's not that big of a deal to have you clean a toilet. But then we're going to have you take it easy. Oh, we never finished fixing that. Oh, you finished your medical journey journal that's good so I let you read your logic book after that you still need that logic point for your job whenever you get back 
So, how about you read that? Papa Dookie. By the way, well, that person is not available to talk to at the moment. But, this is going to be something that I think that's going to hang out for a long time before we actually figure out what to do with that. <laughs> Very amusingly. Oh no, shower singing. It's back. <laughs> well, that never changes. Not with pregnancy, not with anything. I bet Adeline will be an old woman someday and she's still gonna be still gonna be doing it. Actually, Gilbert. You've almost got it finished. So how about you go and finish that up? I'm sure Adeline will appreciate that very much. And you will too, because you will no longer have a loud, oh. annoying machine. Okay. All right, Adeline, come in here. I know you've got an aching back, or well, you don't right now, but you can sit down and read your logic book at your own leisure, and nobody is going to bother you about it. <coughs> Meanwhile, Gilbert is almost finished, and it looks like he is just going to finish and take a shower right on time. Good job, Gilbert. Well, he's definitely um, doing well with his um, his fixin'. Didn't know he was so good with the fishing, but I guess he is. All right. Well, you know what? It's almost time for work. So why don't you come here and you give your wife a kiss goodbye? Because you know she's gonna be here by herself. So. Give her the smooch. And then you can go right back to reading your book. And Gilbert is going to be going to work. So he's there with his... I think she's his teammate. Or... I think, anyway. Oh, look. There is the, um, the thief. The thief's name is Elsa Rourke, Rourke. but nah, she sucks because she tried to rob us, and that's no good. Okay, well, we are just going to chill out here with Adeline as she reads her book, and we see, you know, eventually I might turn on the lot render distance to be higher so that we can actually see these buildings in more details in the background. No reason why it couldn't work. But very peaceful. Reading the book. And she is very, very pregnant. Holy crap. Hmm. She could call that person over, but let's wait until you get that logic point, Adeline. Then we'll do it. Why not? Yeah, very peaceful. Very, very calm. He's doing his work. He might get promoted. I mean, his mood went down a little bit. But it should still be fun. Oh, there you go, Adeline. Very good. Alright, well, you can stop that. And... Uh... It didn't seem to do anything. Okay. By the way, who do you know in this town? Well, that's your boss, and you don't know many other people yet. I mean, we have been here 13 days, but it's been a very quiet 13 days, but how about you watch some TV for a little bit? I know it's not exactly giving you any skill points, and that's what you really want, but, you know, I think that she just got a skill point, and being pregnant, you know, she ought to just take it easy and not rush things, you know? So, everything is going A-OK -okay at the house. Ooh, good job, Adeline. Making your, making your money. 
Yeah. Hopefully we uh, have all these books read. Reread, reread. Nope, nope, nope. So, let's just speed it up a little bit. Because she's just relaxing here, taking it easy. But, I think she's getting pretty hungry. So let's, um... Well, those great pancakes are still some more. By the way, can you cook anything yourself? Hmm. You know what? She's going to prepare mac and cheese. I think there's no reason not to. I'm pretty sure that Gilbert will enjoy that when he comes back. But yeah, look at look at Adeline. Holy crap. That's got to hurt your back, walk, having to walk like that and be all bent over. I mean, I don't have any experience with that, as you might imagine, but, you know, it just looks very rough. Okay. Oh, man, she's making, like, good mac and cheese. She's, like, cutting the cheese and everything. So, I'd like to taste that mac and cheese. I'm sure it's delicious. All right, and Gilbert, you are done at nine, right? Okay. Ooh. Indeed. Of course, as you might imagine, especially now that we have 5,000 bucks, we are going to have to have some form of home renovation coming up here. Which would be the first since we built the house. So not bad. Not bad at all. Just don't go into labor when there's a pot on your stove because then the house might burn down. And nobody wants that. I don't want it. You don't want it. By the way, look, look at the texture on the floor. I never noticed that before. It's a pretty wild texture. Oh, did you just add more cheese to the mac and cheese? I like the way you think, Adeline. Mm, mm. Oh, no, she burned it. It was going so well, too. Well, she does only have... A pretty low cooking ability. In fact, she doesn't have any cooking ability. This was the first thing that she ever cooked. But it doesn't matter. And you can ignore that stupid phone. And Gilbert, when you're done, you can grab a bowl. And Adeline, when you're done, how about you... <laughs> Oh no, the baby's coming. Baby's coming. Baby's coming. Baby's coming, everyone. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Well, forget about that bowl of burnt pasta. Where is it? Where's the hospital? Where's the hospital? Oh no. Well, there's no reason to panic. Huh? Everything's paused. Yes, go to the hospital. Can you come and. Uh, I'm, I think he'll come on his own. Oh my goodness, guys. The baby is coming. Oh no, Adeline, get to the hospital. Get to the hospital. Get to the hospital, Adeline. Oh no, hold it. Come on. Okay, she's held it together. That phone, though. All right, he's done. He's going home, though. Hey, Gilbert, you got promoted. That's good for you. We, uh... Oh, they pa passed each other. I'm sure when she gets to the hospital... Oh, man, she's in labor and she's driving, him, driving herself. That is something. Nope, Gilbert. Nope, you're not doing that crap. You get in your car and get over here right now. Well, Adeline's going about this very calmly. Going into the hospital. And we are going to find out who this is. Whether it's a boy or a girl. But Gilbert is rushing there. To be fair, the taxi drives just as fast anytime. 
But here he comes. And in they go. Oh my goodness. Baby is coming. Man, all the other mood effects are just wiped away by all that. <laughs> Oh man, tensely waiting, tensely waiting. Tensely waiting, oh man. We can look at their stuff while we're waiting. Hmm. She is where she works, interestingly enough. She's delivering the baby in the same hospital. So, not so bad. At least she presumably knows everyone she's uh, being treated by, and that's a that's a good thing. Okay, well, it is the first first child, and they take longer usually. What's going on outside? It's a boy, ladies and gentlemen. It's a boy. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, guess what? We, I am looking at the names of the babies that you have suggested, and I have decided on the name of Arthur. Arthur Keaton. Oh man, and he, you know what? He's gonna take after his parents in the athletic trait, absolutely. But, you know what, we can give him something, we can give him something mental. Hmm, trying to think. We don't want to make her too, or him too much like his mom. We have all these things here. Something from here, something from there. You know what? We are going to pick Loves the Outdoors for this young lad. Yes, he does. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, everybody. The third generation, the third generation has arrived. Look at this little guy. It's still listed as Wilson, but it doesn't matter. Hey there, Adeline. Got a good angle right here. She's still in her maternity clothes. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, snuggle your baby. <laughs> okay, fine. Take the baby home and then snuggle the baby. Ah, uh, she's holding her baby in the car. And Gilbert's there too. Isn't that adorable? I don't even know if that's legal anymore, but it used to be common practice back in the day. Oh my goodness. Well, the family just got bigger. Holy moly. And the light comes on. Gilbert, you fool. Oh, man. Finish this and then put away the leftovers. Oh my goodness, guys. Take a look, take a look. She's home. Aww, and she snuggles her baby for the first time. Aww. It's almost, it's almost too cute to bear. It's almost too cute to bear. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what we're going to do? We are going to press the good old button here and this will not take long will it it will not because there's not much to do but we're gonna make the room nice and big well in a relative way you're no longer gonna have this window behind your bed but I think that you can uh, live with that
put another one right there and let's take a light I said let's take a light and put we'll put them like that to brighten up the room okay now let's bring up the walls bing but I'm gonna get a refund for that what's a good wallpaper for a lad such as this this looks very similar to Andy's room from Toy Story it's not exactly the same but I mean it, it does evoke the same thing now if we do this I'm kind of curious because I almost want to give him like a sports theme if we have one because I know there's a lot of good themes we could give him race cars he could become a vehicle enthusiast when he gets older that would definitely fit in with his parents we could give him a lot of really gaudy pictures here <laughs> we could give him jet fighters now that's that's pretty sweet whoa ouch that hurts the eye sailboats well he does love the outdoors we could give him animals I mean a lot of these are cool but they're like really really garish hmm we could give him the sports stuff but here's a here's an idea what if we have something a little bit more nuanced you know like we have like there are some something with panels you know hmm like for for an experiment what if we put that uh, oh no don't don't do this to me game uh, okay hmm I mean it kind of works man the game really is going slow when I try to do that but you know what what if we make it a little darker oh we're making that one darker okay let, let me just accept this and so then we can hmm yes we are in very slow mode today but I have a bit of a wacky thought first of all let's make it a little darker not that dark though because you want it to be bright for bright for the baby was a deep maroon that's fine for now that's fine but this I want to try something this might be a terrible idea but like what if I replace it with like a nature scene of some sort because after all that will sort of uh, be for both of his interests could put sea life in there aliens hmm or you know what what if I had it just like I do but the two but the two spots were swapped hmm nah nah I like it like that a little garish sure but for the sake of for the sake of the child it's actually not so bad yeah no it's kind of cool all right so we are going to add by the way what is this dude's what is his stuff like oh, he likes violet it's an interesting color for a guy but no reason we can't uh, 
accommodate accommodate that carpet well if we take just a regular carpet like this but hmm whoa whoa Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. It's a deep violet. Hmm. It's like a bluish violet. I can dig it. I, yeah, I can dig it. All right. Well, we are going to add a door. Because otherwise, how? Would we be able to get into this room? Oh, this is exciting, man. We, we, the third generation is here. Okay. I would love for a little Arthur to grow and become a, like a gardener. Like, because this is a, a pretty sizable lot. And it would be nice if we could landscape it somewhat. Let's temporarily turn on the day. Okay. Mm. Let's make this a little darker. Make it a little bit more subdued. And what if we give this... i give it a camo theme. Put cars on there. Ah, yes. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. It's like he's sleeping on a bed of leaves. What if we actually make this like a deep green? Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it's neat. Okay. Well, we won't need it yet, but... Let's buy our dude a, a chair. Whoa. Okay, no, it's fine there. It just looked like it was glitching through. Okay. Well, Adeline really wants to buy him a stuffed animal, so there we go. A xylophone. Toys. Toys, toys, toys. All the toys. Yes, we want to give him every possible, every possible thing. We won't worry about the um, the Dow House for now. But wow, we barely spent any of our money doing this either. This is a wild room, <laughs> it really is. But I think, I think he would like it. Yes. But let's give him a cool painting. Let's give him a, we can give him a car. Okay, give him a village. Yeah, let's give him a village. There we go. And do we want to put a rug in here? Hmm. I think Adeline would like a rug for her feet to stand on when she puts the kids into the, uh, into the bed. Yes, I know. I'm doing this again. I like that. Doesn't necessarily match. But does everything have to look like everything else? Ba -da -ba -dum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is our room. It's a, it's a wild room, and it really stands out in the house. It almost stands out too much. But why not? He's going to be a character. We, uh, I can already sense it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You, my good man, what do you... You need to get more athletic, Gilbert. But today... Today, do not worry. Today, why don't you come and watch some TV. The new father. As far as you, Adeline... Mmm. 
How's your how's the baby doing? Baby's alright. It's been a long time since we had a baby, but play with him, snuggle him, and then introduce him to his new crib. Oh my goodness. What the boo boo? Ah, uh, so nice. All right, and now Adeline brings little baby Arthur to his crib. Okay. Well, Adeline, um, come in here and have some leftover burnt mac and cheese. Use the bathroom and then join your husband. Oh man. Well, new family. Let's that throw a house party. We could throw a house party for the new for the new child. Hmm. What's that? Things are different colors now. I think those are game days. But uh game record. Well, no record yet. No uh nothing started. Okay. Well that's a little confusing, the whole thing. Oh look, he still finds her attractive. He wants to snuggle the baby too. Well, there they are. The new parents in their very garish things. Adeline, I hope you don't keep wearing that because <laughs> it doesn't fit you. But that's okay. For now. Oh, it's a wonderful thing and holy crap, it's late. So maybe it's time to go to bed. After all, the baby will eventually need attention. So, how about you come here and you know what? We've had a very successful day and they're in good spirits. They really are. So, why not end the day this very exciting day with a bang? Why not? As the neutral sleeping baby is feeling very neutral as he sleeps. By the way, these lights, let's see, don't know why the lights are still on, the baby is clearly asleep, but oh well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, no reason to do this again right now, so we are going to end this in a very traditional way. <laughs> mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our episode. So, my goodness, what a monumental episode for the entire series. Because now, Adeline, who we saw as a baby, saw her grow, and now she, herself, is a mother. The circle of life, it is a beautiful thing. Well, that is the end. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.